here, people. I'm here. And right now, people, before I start talking about what I want to talk about, there's some things that I want to mention. You know, some things that I want you to know. Now, I haven't played WWE 2K14 and probably like since the game fucking came out, I like the game, but I just don't have time for it. I'm not a fucking no life like all these other people who want to play this fucking game. I don't spend all day talking in fucking PSN chats. I don't spend all day dating other fucking guys over a fucking video game. You know what I'm saying? What am I doing? Hey, mom, guess who I'm dating? You want to meet my girlfriend? Come in here. Look at my PS3. Me and her had sex last night. I stuck my dick in the fucking disk drive. That's what I did. I whack off looking at pictures of someone that they found on Google. <laughs> so anyways, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of haters, people. Even though I haven't played this game in two fucking years, maybe three years, guess what? People still fucking hate me. That's how popular I was back then. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? It, it actually makes me feel good just knowing that people still care about me. And I hate to say it, you know, but I do have haters. And the majority of my haters are retards. I mean, and when I say retards, I mean retards. You know what I'm saying? They're mentally challenged. And for some reason, retards are attracted to me. I mean, look at me. Why wouldn't they be attracted to me? But guess what? My name used to be fucking turd on PSN. But guess what? You're the real fucking turd. You look like a fucking turd. I'm serious, man. I'm not even going to lie. You look like a fucking rat. And I'm just being honest. You look like a fucking rat. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get into the topics of these video, of this video, excuse me, not these videos. What the fuck am I talking about, people? All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, this is the thing. As you all know, Batista's coming back. That's some good news. Apparently, he's got like a two-year contract or something like that. So, I'm interested in seeing what WWE is going to do with him. That's the, the one of the things. But the other thing that just has me like in my mind, it's been in my mind ever since I read this, is as you all know, um, AJ Styles left TNA. And I was like, man, TNA is dumb. Now, apparently, he was going to renegotiate the contract with TNA again and try to come back. And guess what TNA did? They fucked up, as they always do. TNA is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just the simple truth, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not a big AJ Styles fan. I think he has no charisma. He's not good on the mic at all. But I do recognize that he has a lot of talent. He's very, very skilled in the ring. And no one can deny that, even if you don't like him. He's really good in the ring. And he's part of the reason TNA got what little bit of success that they did get he was the main person back then. Before they had Kurt Angle and stuff like that, AJ Styles was their number one guy. So for them to not even attempt to keep him is just fucking stupid. They would rather waste their money on a bunch of crappy wrestlers than to put the money in their former top superstar who's been with the company, made that company what it is. It's just so stupid to me. I don't know what TNA is doing right now, but they're making a very big mistake in my opinion. And now he's going to go to ROH. So TNA... You're just fucking stupid. Quit making dumb mistakes. That's why you're not big now. I mean, they're the only company that can kind of compete with WWE. I'm not going to say they can compete directly with WWE, but, I mean, they do have their own TV show, and they're probably the second most known because of TV, in the United States anyways, um, the second most known wrestling organization. So I don't know why they keep doing all this stuff, and I've been talking about it over the past couple of videos, and I just think eventually... Probably within two years, TNA is going to fall apart. That's just my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who's going to disagree with me, and they're going to say that TNA is doing good right now. But this is just from what I see. You know what I'm saying? They're getting rid of a lot of their superstars. The thing is, Jeff Hardy left. I think I think someone told me Jeff Hardy. I'm not sure if Jeff Hardy left. But if Jeff Hardy left, if Kurt Angle leaves TNA, TNA is done. And that's just the truth. If, T if Kurt Angle leaves, it's over. If um, Sting leaves, it's over. If they get rid of those two guys, it's completely done. That's the way I see it. I mean, they can still be an organization, but they're not going to be as big as they were. And they weren't even that big. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with TNA. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Also like my other videos. Subscribe to um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The link's in the description. And until next time, peace. Watch. That's for you fucking haters.